Dan Heilman back with another Eternal Evolution video. This is going to be a quick video. Um, I spent a lot of time yesterday developing a tool for you guys uh, to basically tell you what type of loot you're going to get from Ancient Altar. So I get so many questions, um, you know, Dan, this is my team. This is how much damage I deal. Should I attack the hell boss? Should I attack the hard boss? Uh, what should I do here? So what I did is I went through and I took took all of these tables um, on the right hand side this is the loot you get instantly uh, when you attack and then I went into the milestones uh, I took all of this and I put it into a spreadsheet let me show you um, spreadsheet the link is always in the description so go check it out if you'd like uh, so if we go now to ancient altar tab there's an ancient altar tab here before you can edit the spreadsheet, you do have to go up here and go to file, make a copy, um, and you'll just hit make a copy. It'll just make a new spreadsheet, um, and then anyone's able to edit that because it's a copy of my spreadsheet. It's not my actual spreadsheet. Uh, so you'll just make a copy, you'll go back to the tab, and now you can enter any information you would like to enter. Um, I designed the spreadsheet for you guys. So the only thing you have to enter into here is this yellow tab right here. So say you can do this amount of damage to each boss. Hell, hard, normal, easy, novice. The total possible is right here. So if you can kill the boss in one shot, then you just take this number and you put it in this column, okay? Uh, this is my team. This is what I normally do. I usually do roughly 35, da uh, 35 million, and I usually 3K hard. Uh, sorry, hell. <laughs> um, so what happens is you can type whatever you want in here. So if I were to like hit two key, um, and it'll even show you here. You can see it says, Dan, this is only four. So it highlights that red for you. But you can do two, one, one, one. Um, and you can see this would now have to change to at least like, I don't know, 55 million or something. And you can see your rewards are going to change over here. Limited tickets, white gear um gene fragments and advanced tickets uh these are the two most common strategies is three one one that means uh three on hell one on hard and one on normal uh this is the second most common one um you know two on hell one on hard one on normal one on easy and these are the rewards uh i actually never realized the rewards were, were this close together right between these two methods um so the top method is the one i normally do because it does does generate more white gear um you know legendary gear right so it generates more this is usually the one i do um the the limited tickets are pretty much the same i mean 39.5 on average and 40 on average they're pretty much the same um and limited tickets are 37.5 and 40.5 now this also works on lower difficulties however i only compared limited tickets white gear gene fragments and advanced tickets so um, if you're killing the lower difficulties, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't even count these recruitment cards and I didn't count yellow gear, um, because I think everyone should be pushing for these higher rewards, right? These are the ones that are really worth it. The white gear is the best in the game right now. Um, so, you know, that's what you're really looking for when you're in here, but you can see, even if you're, uh, not killing the hell boss, you're still able to get, uh, some limited tickets, some white gear, um, and advanced tickets. The only thing you don't get is the gene fragments, which are kind of nice. Uh, okay. That's going to be pretty much it for the video. I just wanted to show you how to use this, uh, spreadsheet because, uh, I had like six or seven people, uh, maybe not that many, maybe I had like three or four people in general chat, um, who were just asking about, you know, what boss do I need to attack? and then um, you know I was trying to give them advice and uh, people were like oh you should make a spreadsheet you should make a spreadsheet so I was like all right I, I think I spent like six hours yesterday making the spreadsheet uh, look at how uh, <laughs> look at the formulas for this it's quite insane you have these crazy if statements uh, and and sta statements um, and there's no way to like automate the spreadsheet because you know the the way it's spread out and stuff so i had to type most of these in here uh it just took me forever but uh okay i thought you guys would enjoy this spreadsheet uh it just it's just useful for trying to figure out um you know what's the best thing to attack here uh, it even works on the lower difficulties if you're if you're still doing here but again just enter the damage you do on average to each boss if you kill it just copy the number from this other column here and then uh, you can mess around with you know how many tickets you have here you can see if i enter the wrong number it'll 
turn this red and it'll yell, yell at you like, hey, dude, there's way more tickets than you have there. OK, so three, one, one, two, one, one, one. Those are the common strategies. Uh, again, if you can't make it to those strategies, you can do other strategies like this one right here. And you're still able to get limited white gear and advanced tickets. I guess one other thing I should point out, if you don't know the average damage off the top of your head, you can just go in there and attack the boss. And then when you're like 10 seconds before the timer runs out or right before your heroes die, um, just hit the pause button, and, you know, and just look up there and see how much damage you dealt. Right. And then just add a small amount uh, for the remaining time or whatever. And you can just type that into here. Um, so you don't have to use a ticket to know how much damage you're going to deal. Again, just attack. You can always back out in this game. It's really nice. They let you back out of fights and you don't lose anything. So it's really nice because you can test different comps, see how much damage you're doing. I highly recommend you do do that in Ancient Altar. You know, try some different teams um and see how much damage you can deal put it in here and then you know um you know maybe you shouldn't even be attacking hell maybe you should be focusing on hard because you're only doing a couple million damage to hell um so just go in there try it out uh pause it right before either your team dies or the timer runs out uh see how much damage you dealt and then put it in here and it'll tell you what you need to be doing i guess one other thing um i don't know how to protect it from entering wrong information so if you were to put like a hundred million here it doesn't know that the boss is dead after the first attempt. So you can't do 100 million damage three times. So you kind of just got to pay attention to what you're entering in here. Um, and you kind of got to know how it works, right? So I, I don't know how to, maybe eventually I'll find a way to uh, make it like something red if, it, if you have too much damage in here. Um, but again, you can't do 100 million three times to the boss because the boss only is 103. So you kind of got to know how to use it a little bit. Um, so but it will tell you like if uh, if I'm looking over here 39.5 right so if I were to enter 30 million in here you can see my rewards went down um, so because three times uh, three times 30 is only 90 so you haven't killed the boss so for how these bosses work when you kill the boss you get double the loot so you can see down here in hell uh, you can see if I deal 103.7 million I get instead of seven limited tickets I get 14 so it did will tell you that so you can see here 31 da uh, million isn't enough 32 million isn't enough 33 million is not enough um but if i go like 35 you can see now my loot went up and now i'm getting the full amount of loot so uh that's kind of how you do it you kind of got to know how to use the spreadsheet um but i i hope it's just a very useful tool for you guys so I guess one final thing before I finish the video, I was going to make it really short, but now I figure I should just quickly say what type of teams people should be using in here. Um, so the first boss is AOE damage. There's little ads that come out. And if you deal enough damage to the first boss, you make the last boss easier by getting rid of the fire damage skill or reducing the damage of it. Same thing for the second boss. If you can kill the second boss, you get rid of the shield on the third boss. Um, so the second boss, you really want to use a summoner team. It's going to work really well. If you have summoners, put them in here. Um, you can use single target damage, but you want your best single target damage in the last boss. The first boss, um, you kind of need Leo, not going to lie. Uh, if you have a Leo, you're going to be really doing good on this first boss. Um, but I think most people in the beginning are going to be ignoring the first boss because it's extremely hard. Uh, you can use Leo. Um, I think when I finally was able to beat this boss, I used Leo, Crete, two healers, and uh, like a single target damage dealer, someone like Batmark or something like that to, um, to deal some damage to the boss. So, okay. Again, AoE damage, summoners, single target damage. Um, all your damage comes from this third boss, but you can make the third boss easier depending on how much damage you deal to the first two bosses. So just a quick uh, TLDR on how Ancient Altar works. Also, if you're earlier game and you can't uh, like, you know, three shot hell, um, you're going to want to wait till Sunday because you have the strongest account on Sunday and then all you get uh, your rewards on Monday when it resets. OK, that's it. Uh, okay, yeah, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like and sub button. Uh, I spent a lot of time on this uh, calculator, so hopefully it's helpful for some people out there. And uh, that's going to be it for the video, guys. See ya. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like and sub. Have a great day, everyone. Baby Lucas says, hey, guys, happy New Year's. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You should really hit that like button and that subscribe button. Woo! See ya, guys.